I'm going to be using this colour today, it's Davies Greens by Windsor & Newton in the professional range. I'll link a few greys down below for you that I know are really nice. You can also get a nice grey colour by mixing ultramarine blue with a reddish brown, like burnt sienna, and you can get a really nice grey that way, but I'm just going to use this today because it's quicker. I'm also going to be using two brushes. These are my favourite brushes. They're the Silver Black Velvet, and I got these from Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. So I've got a size 12 and a size 6. I'm going to start off with a light wash of this grey, so I'm going to apply some clean water to my paper now. I'm going to start on the head and the ears because I want to do this in sections, and that is because I don't want my paper to go drying on me. I want to work wet on wet with this rabbit. So I'm just applying my water a little bit further down the body, just because I want to get soft edges there. I'm also going to take the water ever so slightly past the neck area of the rabbit. So this is a very light wash. I'm going to try and leave the area around the eye white because I just want that to be a highlighted area. So I'm going to just pop some of this Davies Grey onto the rabbit now. And I'm not being too careful about this. I'm just popping it all over the head and up the ears as well and this is a very very light wash you can hardly see the grey on this because it is very diluted i've put lots of water into this grey when i get to the top of the ears i'm going to just do a few little hair flicks So you want to be quite quick when you do this. You don't want your paper to go drying on you because you do want to work wet on wet with this. So taking my big brush now, I'm gonna leave a little bit of the pore on the end white because I want that fur to be white. I'm taking it all across the paper. I am leaving a little bit of white here because I want the ends of the fur to be white. So I'm gonna try my best to preserve some of the white fur within the rabbit so i'm just taking it all across the rabbit being very careful not to go over the edges and you can see that this gray here is a very very light gray so you can hardly see the gray at all but don't worry about that we're going to go in with some darker layers afterwards just doing a little a few little flicks at the back of the rabbit just to give the illusion of fluffy fur. Not too many, I don't want to go wild with this. I have to try my best not to overwork it. I'm giving the tail a really fluffy look by just using the tip of my brush to give a really fluffy hairy appearance. I'm going to wet this ear now and I'm going to apply a pinky orange colour so this is just permanent rose mixed with a light orange that I've got and then I'm just going to drop that into the ear here. Parts of this ear I'm going to cover in grey so I'm just going to apply it to the middle of the ear Taking a darker version of the Davies Grey now, I'm going to drop that into areas of the paint that I just laid down. So this is still wet, so you're just going to get a nice blended fuzzy look. I'm also going to take that on the outside of the ear. I'm just re-wetting the rabbit's face now because I'm going to drop in some darker shades of grey. You want to wait until the rabbit's face or the rabbit's body is completely dry before you add more water, otherwise you're going to get some cauliflower effects. So I've added more pigment to my water now. It's not too dark, it's kind of a mid shade, so I've just added a little bit more water, more pigment to the water. It's not so watery now. And I'm just going to take that around the front of the rabbit's face. And because the paper is wet, you're going to get a nice soft blurry effect where the two colours sort of mix together and you get soft edges. So you're not getting a really 
harsh edge or a harsh or harsh colour on your rabbit. I'm going to re-wet the body now as well and I'm going to carry on with adding some darker shades of grey to the body too. So I'm trying to make my brush strokes look like fur so I'm also just dropping colour in. I'm just being quite random with this, I'm not really following my reference too much. So I'm going to take some indigo now and I'm going to drop that into areas of the rabbit where I want more shade. So underneath the neck area, underneath the paw here, also underneath onto this foot here. I'm also going to take some around the back leg. I'm going to take some violet now and just drop that into areas and I'm not being too careful about this. I just want the rabbit to look quite interesting. So I'm just dropping that into areas and just letting it bleed out into the wet paper 